Today, we're gonna make five text animation in Apple Motion. I already have my text here. So this is my text, I'm using Montserrat. And then my project settings. Okay, the first thing we will do is a very easy text animation. First, let's animate the Y position of our text. In here, I have 20 frames interval. After we create our keyframes, our animation go to the keyframe editor. And then here on the Y position, click this down arrow after last keyframe and ping pong. Then go to our first frame to see our animation. Okay, we have this up and down motion. Next thing we need to do, go to our group and then select fixed resolution. Go to filters, go to time and trails. Let's increase the echo around 10. One tip when using the trails effect in Apple Motion, go to a part where there's some movement on your animation and then adjust the echo and also the duration. Okay, now that we have this, let's take a look. Go again to our first frame. Okay, so that's the first animation or text animation. It is really easy to do. Of course, you can play around with the number of echoes to, have a, to achieve a different result. Just similar to this one. Next animation we will do is first, let's reset our text. Let's add animation now on the X position. So 20 frames. Then another 20 frames. Then go again to your keyframe editor. Then select your keyframes, set them to is both. The same thing as earlier. After last keyframe, ping pong. So we will have this kind of animation. Go to your group and press K on your keyboard to clone it. Let's turn off our text source. Let's rename it as text source. Turn it off. Here on our clone layer, we will replicate this. So select your clone layer and press L on your keyboard. Then change the shape to line. Change the X start point and end point to zero. And then adjust the end point Y. So you will have something similar to this. Let's increase the points. K7, then change the origin to endpoint. Go to our text source. and our text source, let's group this. So Command Shift G, go to Properties, select Drop Shadow. Okay, then increase the opacity and adjust the distance and add a blur. Okay, so we have this something like this. Let's press play. So it doesn't look good, right? Let's go back again to our replicator. Then here on the source frame offset, let's change this to 1. Now we have this kind of simple text animation again in Apple Motion. You can play around with this source frame offset. You can change it to 3. So you will have this kind of look. You can also change to 5. Okay, so let's look at this end part. You will notice that it is staggering, right? Which we don't like. So to solve this, go to your project, change the duration of your project. So I'm gonna set it to 10 seconds, then adjust our replicator and our text source. If we go back again to our first frame, Okay, so we have now solved that issue from earlier. So let's delete this one. Let's turn on our text source again. This one, let's reset our position and let's remove it from the group earlier. So it's now in the text source itself. Let's reset the position also. Let's change the text in here. Let's make it Apple Motion Time. Then let's add some asterisk. This one, go to Layout. 
layout method to path and then path shape to circle increase the radius okay then check inside path go to format change the rotation to 90 and then go to the properties change again the rotation of the x to negative 90. let's add a camera add object camera switch to 3d now our group put it in inside a new group so command shift n put it inside and then let's change this active camera to perspective so that any changes we made in here will not affect the camera itself now let's adjust the position of our text so that it will be on the center this group let's animate the y rotation let's add a spin behavior on this one so go to behaviors basic motion then spin change the axis to y and spin rate it depends on you how fast you want the rotation to move i'm gonna set to 20 so it should be other way around i will set it to negative 20. we have now this kind of rotation in our text now let's put this group to a new group so command shift n put this group inside group one and then then change the x rotation to however you like then change the perspective camera to active camera now we have this circular text animation rotation in apple motion let's turn off our camera let's remove our text from the group delete that let's use our text from earlier so let's reset the rotation and the position go to your text then reset the rotation here on the advance so we will have this go to format and then let's increase the tracking between the text now go to layout and let's increase the radius the next thing we need to do is let's put this inside the group so command shift n okay once inside that group let's adjust the position of our text set it to center just like this and then let's add a spin behavior again on our z rotation so go to behaviors basic motion is spin so it's currently it's at axis of z so for the spin rate it depends on you again how fast you want your text to rotate let's go to our first frame then let's group this command shift g and then let's rename it as text source let's clone this one press k on your keyboard turn off the text source this clone layer let's replicate this so press l on your keyboard we will have this kind of replicator here on the replicator controls change the shape to line and then change the start point to zero and end point to zero check 3d and then go to your end point change the position of the z so we will have this let's increase the points also so actually it depends on you how many points you want so in this case i'm gonna set it to 275 check face camera and align angle and then take the angle end to something like this we have currently 275 points that's why it looks like this so we need to change our z position more the next thing we need to do is go to our clone layer go to properties and check drop shadow so that we can see the separation between the text So in this case, uh, it depends on you how you will play around with the drop shadow settings. For now, I'm gonna set it like this. Press play or press spacebar on your keyboard. Okay, so we have something like this, right? Select your replicator, go to behavior, replicator, and we will add sequence replicator. Let's add an opacity, change the sequencing to prom and opacity to zero change the spread to around maybe 21 and traversal to is both or is in is out also don't forget to trim the sequence replicator let's maybe around here two seconds let's take a look so we have this animation quite choppy because we have a lot of replicator that's why currently i have this fps of 10 so let's do some ram preview okay so if you want the text to start from the bottom go to your replicator replicator and then origin to end point let's go back to our first frame let's do another ram preview let's press space bar on your keyboard 
Okay, so that's how to do this kind of simple text animation. Okay, on to our last text animation. This is really easy. Let's delete this. Let's reset our text, go to the layout, change to type, layout method to type, go to format and change the tracking to the default, go to your properties and change the position to the default to 0, 0. So we will have this, let's change the text. Okay, let's delete also the camera. We need to change the text source group to text resolution. Then let's go to filters, distortion and scrape. Now let's change the rotation so that the scrape filter starts from the bottom. Then adjust the Y in the center. At present, there's no animation or nothing at all, only the scrape here at the bottom of the text. Now let's select our text source, go to filters, distortion, bump map, change the controls to horizontal and vertical scale, change the vertical scale to zero. Let's create a Let's create a map source for our bump map. So command shift N, go to add object, generator, generators, and clouds. Change the first, second, and third layer strength to zero. And then change the horizontal scale. And maybe for now, leave the vertical scale as the, at default. Let's rename this group as map. Let's make a new group, command shift N. Let's add a gradient here. So add object, generators generators and gradient let's change the gradient to black and white and then on our map group let's add an image mask command ship m let's put the gradient group inside the source well change the source channel from alpha to luminance now let's go back to our text source go to map map then drag the map inside the maps well okay let's turn off our map so you will see we already created a simple another text animation here in Apple Motion. If you want to make this scrape part, the movement here much faster, go to map and then increase the speed or you can also play around with the offset. So let's add some rate offset on the X position. So add parameter behavior rate. Let's increase the rates percentage. So you will have something like this. If you want, the distortion here on the scrape part you can adjust the horizontal scale so it depends on you it's either the positive value which goes to the right and negative value goes to the left just like this very easy isn't it so that's how to make those five text animation in apple motion if you have enjoyed this lesson don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more tutorials here on my channel Thank you and see you again next time.